can we do a segment about ridding my horse of sarcoids? I am currently using blood root, but it is painful. My horse has fibroblastic sarcoids on sheath and inner thigh. I have seen some food additives that cure from the inside out. Okay. Ooh. Sarcoids. I can't believe we haven't talked about this yet because it's um, sarcoids are the most common skin tumor mm -hmm. of horses. They're also the most common tumor tumor of horses. Mm. I mean, of all kinds of tumors, this is this is one they get because horses don't get tumors a lot. They're not like cancer yeah. factories. Yeah, like some species are. So um, sarcoids. There's a relationship between them and the uh, the bovine papillomavirus. And, but there is also a susceptibility gene. Hmm. So it runs in families or it's heritable. In that so meaning- genetic component. There is, there is. It's like, just because the, the um, bovine uh, papillomavirus, you're exposed to it, if you don't have that gene, you might not get it. Okay. Other things that seem to set you up for this are, um, we think the virus is spread by flies. Mm. And we think that a wound or injury or some scar, an area of scar tissue is sort of also susceptible to it. Um, she mentioned in a sheath area, so the Correct. places, it can happen anywhere in the body, but the places that it's um, sort of most seen at are areas, um, areas with wounds or mm -hmm. scars, but um, areas that are um, thin skinned or uh, don't have a lot of hair. So she's so in yeah thigh. yeah so um, the groin area the axilla which is like the the underarm the anything on the bottom of the horse like the belly this the uh, chest the head also, also the face yep, yep. the face um, and sometimes and sometimes the legs so yeah okay so she says she's currently using a blood root for right. her treatment but it's a little bit painful yeah yeah. So, are there different treatments? There are, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, there are lots of treatments. What that means is none of them work that great. Like, gotcha. you, there's not one that works all the time. So this one might might work for this horse. This one might. Work yeah, for that you horse. don't know until you try. The other thing that's um, annoying with with sarcoids is that, you know, anytime <clears throat> you see hair loss, a, a change in the skin behavior, or a, a, a sort of lump or bump or whatever, you need to have the vet out to mm -hmm. look at it. The, the problem is sarcoids, they're not um, malignant tumors that metastasize and spread throughout the body, okay. but they're very locally aggressive or invasive. And they, they can lie dormant or latent. It, it, one of the tools that a vet might use to diagnose these, because it can look like a lot of different mm. skin things, is what's called a biopsy. Mm -hmm. But if you do that, you sort of anchor the tissue Ugh. And you, tr yeah, you trigger it into sort of this uncontrolled expansion. So don't upset it. Don't upset it, yeah. So, so is it more one of those things like if it looks like a duck, let's treat it like a duck? You know, your veterinarian <laughs> will look at it. There's a couple, there's six different kinds, and she mentions the fibroblastic yes. kind. That is, uh, it's very weepy, ulcerated, nasty looking. It looks a little bit like proud flesh. Oh, okay. And so, by, by a series of questions and examining it and looking at the local the area and where it is, your vet has a pretty good idea yeah. that it's a sarcoid. So um, treatment options include, and she may have done several of these already before mm -hmm. she got to the blood root. So topicals like she's doing, there's some antiviral creams and a, a variety of them that you, you kind of don't use on their own, but you do them after like a, a s attempted surgical excision. So you debulk it. Okay. And because surgery alone is not good enough, then you apply some of these creams. Okay. You can remove um, by by regular surgery, you know, scalpel or, or, or scissors or something. But you can also use laser assisted. Uh, there's radiation therapy. Oh. And not not by what you think of as like um, shining, you know, rays on it, but embedding mm -hmm. radioactive um, components that stay in it and continue to. Um, work on the, the, the cells. Um, other things are cryotherapy. Okay, you can so like freeze, freeze it. it. Yep. Uh, let me see what else I didn't mention. Oh, there's BCGs, which is a, a form of uh, immunomodulation. So this is an intralesional injection. Cisplatin is another agent that can be injected right into the lesion to try to, to shrink it and remove it. Um, so once you do these, is there a chance for it to come back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it could come back with a vengeance if, it, if, you, if you've angered it. So when you decide to start treating these, 
you have to be all commit. over it, aggressive, commit, yeah. exactly. Because you're probably gonna upset it, wake it up, wake up the beast, okay. poke the dragon, <laughs> poke the bear, whatever they say, and then you have to get on it. So. Is it a possibility, like if it is just like one area that's maybe not in a harmful location or you just kind of leave it you alone? You can, <laughs> yeah, Let, leaving it alone, ignoring it is totally an option. Okay. If it's If it's somewhere where um, the horse isn't bumping it and aggravating mm -hmm. it himself, or the tack is not gonna uh, compete, yeah. then yeah, maybe the best best option is just to just leave it alone. Pretend like it's not there. Yeah, <laughs> in many cases with horses, just ignoring stuff is is kind of your best <laughs> your best bet. After you talk to your vet. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, she did mention though. She did say I had seen some food additives that cure from the inside out. I don't know if she's like more talking about like immune type response. I or? did not find anything like that in my research. I did find this this method that at first I was like, what? I don't. And then, but it was it was a, a paper at a at a proceedings in, in a proceedings book at a convention and meeting, and the the uh, it's still under investigation, so I don't think it's readily available to everyone. But you could talk to your vet about it. It's called autologous vaccinations and what mm. that means is they take a little bit of the tumor make a vaccine out of it and inject oh. it back into the horse trying to stimulate the horse's own immune system to knock it out so some new cool stuff there is some new there. cool stuff so yeah um, but i couldn't find anything that's feed through awesome well darcy i hope that helped and keep us posted with how your guys doing yeah but don't send any pictures <laughs> don't send pictures <laughs>